Mr. Chairman, the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Hu Lin Zhao, elected ITU official, excellencies, distinguished heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to make this statement on behalf of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam at this very important WTDC 17. Uh, first of all, I would like to highly appreciate all the effort and hard work of the ITU in, orga in organizing this high-level, very important conference. This is really a very good opportunity for us to learn and to exchange experiences on the implementation of ICT strategies and on solutions to use the ICT to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal. Nowadays, the explosive development of ICT has made such rapid and deep changes to the society and to the economy. One can easily find the very strong impact of ICT on all aspects of our life, our working, and our social relationships. And that happens at all scale, global, national, regional, organizational, and individual. And in this context, we strongly believe that we have to put ICT in the heart of our SDG strategies. And in fact, Vietnam has been making every effort to make the best use of ICT to create new driving forces for sustainable and inclusive growth. We are focusing on the following priorities. Firstly, we promote ICT application and services in public areas, such as public governance and public health. In two years, from 2014 to 2016, according to the United Nations e-government index, Vietnam has improved its e-government performance and made the leap from middle e-government development index to high values. In public health area, we succeeded in establishing a database of health insurance covering approximately 99% of population. And this opens up the path to the wide use of electronic insurance card. Secondly, we need to invest a lot in HRD. The shortage of digital skills is the biggest challenge of developing countries in this digital transformation. So international cooperation in HRD led by ITU, namely ITUD, plays a very important role. Thirdly, as an agriculture country and among the 10 most impacted by climate change, we need to promote e-agriculture. And our government and prime minister emphasize constantly that priority must be given to e-agriculture. Fourthly, we started smart city initiatives. And we think that this will create new ICT market opportunity and new opportunities for international cooperation. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in this all interconnected and integrated world, Vietnam strongly believes that cooperation, mutual assistance between nations is key for success. And from our side, we are always ready and eager to cooperate with other members to jointly address common ICT challenges. In addition, we do wish to make further contribution to the ICT community through our presence at the Radio Regulation Board. In concluding, I would like to express our sincere thanks to the ITU, the ITU Secretary General, and the ITU staff who have been making continued efforts to connect members to enhance mutual understanding and to provide valuable assistance to members. I would also like to thank for all the great hospitality extended by the host nation of the Argentina Republic, who helped to make this conference possible and meaningful. 
Finally, I would like to wish you all good health, success, and happiness. Thank you for your kind attention.